Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to send Dropbox files to your Discord channel automatically. So guys, Dropbox is a file hosting service which allows you to save your personal files and folders on a cloud storage. And Discord is a social application in which you can create communities and connect with people over voice calls, video chats, and also send files and media in private as well as as a part of communities called as servers. Now, guys, let us imagine a scenario that you are working on a graphic designing project. So you have two teams. One is the creative team and other is the marketing team. So your creative team creates the designs and your marketing team fill it with content and share it on various platforms. So now what you guys do is that whenever one of your creative team member creates a design, he share it with your marketing team here on your Discord channel and then make a copy of that design and save it here on your Dropbox for a backup, right? So this process can be time consuming because every time they create a design, they have to move, move back and forth between Dropbox and Discord every time they create a design. So we have a better solution. What if I tell you that whenever a creative team member of yours creates a design and upload it here as a new file on Dropbox, a new message get automatically delivered here with your marketing team with the link of the Dropbox files and the file itself. Yes, this can happen. But to make this happen, we have to connect Dropbox with Discord. But there is no direct connection or native integration present between Dropbox and Discord. So to connect these two applications here, I am using a software called as Pavli Connect. So Pavli Connect is an integration and automation software and the best part of it is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge to make this connection between Dropbox and Discord. So guys, first of all, let me give you a demo of how this connection between Dropbox and Discord is going to work in real time. So guys, this is my Dropbox account and here I have a folder with the name to Discord. And this is my Discord channel. Here I have a text channel with the name as general. So what I'm going to show you is that I will upload a file here and we will try to see if my Discord channel will receive a message or not with the link of my Dropbox file. So let me just go to my Dropbox and from here I'm uploading a file. So let me upload uh, this file, okay. All right, so guys, as you can see, my file is uploaded here. And now let us see if my Discord channel get a message or not with the link of this Dropbox file here. So guys, as you can see, we have received a new message in my Discord channel with this message. Hey mate, just completed a new design and the file link of my Dropbox. And here you can see this is the same file that I have uploaded and I can access to my Dropbox from my Discord channel just like that from here. So this is how it is going to work. And now you are guys, you guys are wondering that how I managed to bring this file from my Dropbox account on my Discord channel without any manual compilation of this message. So guys, let me give you the easiest steps so that you can also make this automation by yourself. So guys, these are the three easy steps by which you can also make this integration or connection between Dropbox and Discord. So step one is, Connect Pebbly Connect to Dropbox account. So first of all, we will go to Pebbly Connect and connect our Dropbox account with Pebbly Connect. Step two, collect the data from Dropbox in Pebbly Connect. So in second step, we will bring the data from our Dropbox to Pebbly Connect. And the last step, which is step three, is connect Discord with Pebbly Connect and send the message with the help of webhook URL. So in the last step, we will connect Pebbly Connect with Discord and send the collected data here from our Dropbox to send as a message here in Discord. 
So guys, let us jump to our first step and open Parly Connect. So guys, first of all, you have to open your browser and type P-A-B-B-L-Y that is pavly.com. So this is the landing page of Pavly. From here, go to this products icon and click on connect. After this, you can set up your free account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign up for free, which I have already done. So I'm just clicking on sign in. All right, so this is the all apps section of Pavly. From here, go to this connect panel and click on access now. All right, so this is the dashboard of Pavly Connect. To start working here, you have to create a workflow. So just click on this create workflow button here. Now you have to enter the name to your workflow. So I am giving it as Dropbox file to discord channel. All right. So I'm clicking on connect, uh, sorry, create now. So as your workflow get created, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So Pavly connect work on these two things. The trigger says when this happens, action says Pavly connect do this. All right. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new drop Dropbox file uploaded and the action would be send the file to our discord channel as a message so first of all click here on trigger and choose your application as dropbox all right after this it will ask for the trigger event so our trigger event would be a new file upload so from here just select this new file after this just click on this connect and from here click on add new connection and then when you click here as I, as I can show you I am already logged in in my Dropbox account here so when I click here the authorization will be instantly successful and if you are not logged in it can ask for the access to your Dropbox account so for that just click on allow and will it will get connected so I am clicking here and you can see the authorization is successful. All right. So you can read the connected is written here. That means our first step is completed and we are connected with our Dropbox. Now you will see this field, the folder path. You have to enter the path of your folder in which you have saved the file. So it can be written something like this. You have to put a slash first and type the name of your folder. So what is the name of my folder? My folder's name is to discord. So I'm just copying this from here. And I'm just pasting it here. All right. So we are done entering the folder path. Now we are connected with Dropbox and our first step is completed. So what is our second step? Let me show you. So our second step was collect the data from Dropbox in Pavly Connect. Now we will bring the data here from our Dropbox to Pavly Connect. So let's do this. So guys to fetch the data, I have to click this save and send test request. And when I click this save and send test request, Pavly Connect will receive the data of the most recently uploaded file. All right. So the most recently uploaded fi file was this logo social.png file. So I can show you that I am clicking here on save and test rest, save and send test request. All right. Now you can see the data of our file. So the name was logo social. So this is the most recently uploaded. So Pavly connect this data, uh, fetch this data. All right. So this is the information about the path and uh, about the URL of our uh, file and all other this is the shareable link of our file and all other informations about our Dropbox file. Now our second step is also completed. So what was our third step? Let me show you. So guys, our third step was to connect discord with Pavly connect and send the message with the help of webhook URL. So now we are going to connect Pavly connect with discord 
and we will send the message with the help of a webhook URL. So guys, let's do this. So guys, now you have to click on this action button and from here you have to choose your application as Discord. So this is Discord. Now in the action event, what we want, what we want to send a message. So select send channel message. After this, click on this connect. All right, so we are connected with our Discord channel as well. Now you will find these fields down here. So now it is asking for a webhook URL. So we are going to send the data we have fetched in the second step, this data to our Discord channel through this webhook URL. So where we are going to find this webhook URL, let me show you. Just go to your Dropbox or uh, Discord channel and the text channel that you have, just go to this icon, this settings icon, it is showing edit channel. Just click on this edit channel icon and here you have these options, right? So from these option, click on this integrations option. So as you click this, you will find this webhooks option here. So click on this view webhooks option. And here you will find these are the previously created webhooks of mine. And from this button, you have to create a new webhook. So click this. All right. So it created a new webhook here and it is asking for the webhooks name. So I'm putting the webhooks name as Dropbox to Discord. All right. So just click on this save changes and then just click on this copy webhook URL. All right. So our webhook is copied. Now go back to Pavli Connect and just paste here. All right. So we are done pasting our webhook URL. Now it is asking for the message. So here you have to compile the message. All right. So let us enter a message like, uh, hello teammates. Uh, after that I can write, all right. So I want another line in my message to bring another line in my message. You have to put this angle brackets like this and type BR so that the line breaks. You can also write this in this instructions. All right. So I want in the next line I am writing new logo uploaded. And I want another line like this file link is now, now you have to enter the file link so that your file link get transferred as a message in your discord. You will find this file link from here. So this is the data we have fetched from our Dropbox. All right. So this is the shareable file link. Now you can map this shareable file link from here only. All right. So as you click here in this field, you will find this also this option, the Dropbox new file option. As you click here, you will find the fetched data Pavli had already fetched in the second step. You can find all that data here. So just map the shareable link from here like this. And we are done compiling our message also. All right. After that, you can put the name of the bot who is going to deliver the message. Mm, you can put the name of the bot like logo bot. All right. And you can give a unique icon to your bot also from this bot icon field. You can put a image URL here for now. I'm leaving it blank. And this text to speech option, if you enable this, your bot will read out aloud your message in your discord channel here, right? So I do not want my bot to read that message for me. So I'm just disabling it from here right now. All right. Now we are done compiling our message and all these informations and we are connected with our discord channel as well. So our last step was to send this data and message as a message in discord channel. So guys, as and when I click this save and send test request, 
this data and this message will get delivered in my discord channel as a message so i am just clicking on this here all right now let's see in my discord all right you can see a new message arrived here with hello teammates new logo upload this is the same message that i have compiled here as you can see and this is the same format in which uh, i have typed the message so this is how it is going to work so our automation is completed and it is working so let me give you a quick recap what i have done here so first of all in pably uh, we created a workflow and in the trigger option we selected the application as dropbox we selected the trigger event we entered the folder path then in second step we fetched the data from our dropbox and then we came to this action button in the action button we choose our other application as discord we select the action event put our webhook url which we fetched from here from our our discord then we compile the message and we uh, give the bot name and other things and then we are done completing our integration so guys this is it for today's video if you want any other type of integrations which is not readily available on pably connect you can contact us at admin at the red pebbly dot com you can ask your queries from this forum link and check the pricing of this software through this link and as we connected today dropbox with discord you can make many other type of integrations with many different type of softwares with this application and automate your business with pably connect guys thank you so much for watching this video